What is up guys, it's Owen Secret Productions and today I'm going to be doing yet another double review. This time of the Transformers Studio Series Leader Class Overload and the Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Long Haul. Uh, okay, so vehicle modes, um, yeah, honestly, uh, the superior uh, vehicle mode of my opinion uh, out of the two of these guys is Long Haul. And, um, yeah, Overload is pretty, is pretty good, um, well, I mean, they, the, they nailed the front of the truck, minus this. <laughs> Another VHS, is it got the product number right there? Yeah, um, uh, this, um, bothered me just a little bit before, but I don't really care for it too much now. Like, you could see the, uh, combiner joints, which are obviously Devastator's hips. And this is something that I'm not too big a fan of. The, uh, like this ugly thing on the back. Also, this thing, this, the Vortex Grinder does not have to be on the back. But it's just like a place where you can store it for vehicle mode. You can just take that off. Anyways, um, yeah, vehicle mode's pretty good. Now, long haul, I, again, I prefer, but there's this one issue that I have is that it never wants to stay parallel, the cab part never wants to stay like parallel with like the rest of the vehicle. Yeah, um, kibble wise, it's not too bad for both. Um, I think um, Overload's kibble is much worse, except for whatever the hell this is. Seriously. But yeah, um, I know some people have had like, m like a QC issues so with like these things not wanting to tab in, but on my copy, somehow, they actually like to still actually like to stay in place so yeah um uh let's just uh, actually no 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 let's just get into the transformation for robot mode We have long haul and overload in their combined modes, and I'm just gonna say right now, the reason why I did not do a um, uh, transformation for combined mode is because I already did a video on that just recently. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Uh, so, and no, I am not wanting to do it again. So, anyways, uh, robot modes, both of them look good in my opinion. Um, these get, these two are actually my second and third favorites. <laughs> Um, believe it or not, uh, number one is definitely got to go to Skipjack. So yeah, um, yeah, that sculpts I think are, excuse me, Jesus. um, I think they're both done really well. Mechanical detail, of course, is top notch. And the back cable on long haul is just literally the front, top, top front half of the truck. Also, yes, the front of the truck at the bottom of his feet, like the Masterpiece Optimus Prime. Um, yeah. And, uh, Overload. Yeah, of course, if you've, if you've seen the transformation, which I'm pretty sure you did. Um, yeah, these parts are not the front of the truck. They're actually that way down here. See that? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, Overload, I really do like the design. Although, um, yeah, I know that there was like a, like a kind of arachnid, like, uh, form that, uh, uh, mode that Overload did. I completely forgot to pull that out. Sorry! I can't believe I mistransformed him just that by that much. Okay, let's just get into the articulation. Um, I'll just say right off the bat, long haul is more articulated. So you get a ball joint at the head, which is kind of, which is pretty free, believe it or not. Um, he can look up that far and down that far. Rotation at the shoulder, which can rotate forward that far and move back that far. It's very handy due to these like huge uh, forearm shields and these wheels. And the arm can move out that far unless you uh, use the uh, elbow swivel and you can move it out pretty fur way further. And you get a bend at the elbow. If you uh, move this out of the way, you get a ratcheting waist swivel. Um, 
And you also get ratchet joints at the legs, which allows them to move forward around that far. And they can move back around that far if you move the back cable out of the way. Now the... No, he can't really do the splits, but he could do it to a decent degree. Uh, you do get a thigh swivel, but that's more for the transformation. Uh, but you do get a swivel at the knee. A strange bend at the knee, like... What is this knee? <laughs> what kind of knees are these? Uh, you get a toe bend and an excellent pivot. Now articulation for overload. Another... Stay. Stay. Fine. A ball joint at the head, which is more limited for some reason. Um, up and down. At the shoulders. Ah, uh, yeah, that's nice. And um, you can you get a swivel here, which acts as a rotation. And the arm can move out that far if you like do that. You get a bend at the elbow and a hinge joint at the wrist. Now, for the second set of arms, you get a hinge joint here, an elbow, a wrist, a wrist swivel, I guess. And a, and a double hinge joint there. And the legs can kick around that far until the knee spikes hit the chest. And the leg can move back that far. And he can almost do the splits as well. He, then this one you get a proper thigh swivel. A, a, a decent bend at the knee. And of course there's a, well, there's a hinge joint here. And an ankle pivot. Which I think might be slightly better than long hauls. So the articulation on these guys are really ex are excellent. And um, yeah, basically I don't have much else to say for these guys. So now let's move on. Wait, let's move on to the size comparisons. Here they are next to... The Figma Kyoko Sakura review coming soon. GSU's Leader Class Shockwave, NECA Godzilla, and Masterpiece Movie Barricade. So, there you have that. So, some final thoughts. Uh, these two are excellent figures. I would definitely recommend you pick them up, uh, especially if you want to complete City Series Devastator. Now, um,. Yeah, I will say, uh, long haul, uh, mainly with the arm articulation, it's pretty hard to, like, maneuver his arms around. Um, but, and, and the hips, but once you get the hang of it, it's not as bad as it is at first. And Overload is also an excellent figure. Um, vehicle mode is decent, combined mode is pretty good, especially for the final piece of, uh, Devastator, I mean. And the robot mode, it, if I didn't say it already, it's excellent. And, um, yeah, two excellent figures. Review on the Figma Kyoko Sakura coming soon. And I will see you all in my next video. Peace out.